Hello and welcome to this video on the sum of angles in a triangle. Now I've got a triangle here and it's got three different angles and let's see what happens if we add these angles together by cutting up the shape. So if I cut it here and then if I cut it here and I cut it here and then I rearrange these three angles. We've got this angle here, we've got this angle here and if I put this angle here, can you see that these angles combined make a straight line? And we've seen from previous videos, the sum of angles on a straight line around a point is 180 degrees. And that therefore means that the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. And that's all you need to know for this topic. So the sum of angles in a triangle is 100 and 80 degrees. And by the way, don't say the angles in a triangle are 180 degrees because that would be saying that each angle of the triangle is 180 degrees. It's the sum of the angles is 180. So let's use that to solve these particular problems here. We want to determine the unknown marked angles. So we've got this first triangle here. We've got this angle of 90 degrees here. Remember that square just means 90 degrees. And we've got 40 and we want to find the remaining angle x. Well, they add up to 180 degrees, so if we add the 90 and 40 together, that gets us to 130 degrees, and therefore x is what's remaining to get up to 180 degrees. So we can subtract 130 degrees from 180 degrees, and that gives us 50 degrees. So that is x. What about question two? We've got this triangle, we've got these three angles, and we want to know why. Well, again, we could add up these two angles, so 41 degrees plus the 23 degrees comes to 64 degrees. So the Y must be what's left to get us up to 180. So we can just do 180, subtract the 64, and that gets us to 116 degrees, and that is Y. What about the third one? Well, this is a bit harder this time, if I just copy it out quick. Well, to get this angle Z, we first need to find this angle here. So if we just add those together, we've got 80 plus 72 is equal to 152 degrees. And therefore, this remaining angle must be 180 minus 152, which is equal to 28 degrees. So that angle there is 28. And now we can work out Z because we know the angles on a straight line around a point add to 180 degrees. So we just need to do Z is 180 minus 28 degrees, which is equal to 152 degrees. And by the way, do you notice that we did 180 minus 152 to get 28 and then 180 minus 28 to get back to 152? And basically we find that this angle here, Z, is the sum of those two other interior angles of the triangle. So in general, if you have a triangle and you want to find this angle here, we actually call this angle an exterior angle of the triangle, but we'll see that in a separate video. But if we had these two interior angles here, the triangle, then this angle here is going to be the sum of those two angles there. And that's sometimes known as the exterior angle of a triangle theorem. Right, let's finally do this question here. We've got two overlapping triangles and we want to find the total of all the marked angles. Well, we know the sum of those three angles, this one, this one, and this one, is 180 degrees. And we know the sum of these three angles is also 180 degrees because that's another triangle. And therefore, the sum of all six of them must just be 180 plus 180 which is equal to 360 degrees.